All right, welcome back to Solomon's Crown. Um, uh, today we are going to be discussing the Nia Long situation, and uh, I don't even know how to say this dude's name. Udoka. He's calling Ime Udoka. Udoka. So apparently, Ime Udoka survived this. Can he survive this? Uh, he pretty much got caught slipping. His wife is Nia Long, and everybody is taking her side because it's dudes of peace. But what they're trying to do is glorify it as in he's the only one in the organization doing stuff like this when, I mean, let's be honest, like most NFL athletes and or management in these uh, organizations are doing some shady shit. We just did our video on Brett Favre. And he was just stealing money from poor people. So, I mean, I guess that's not as bad as cheating on Neil Long. But let's just get into the video. But before we do that, make sure you hit that sub button. Make sure you... <laughs> what? Right. Why, am, why are you booing me? Why are you... <laughs> like, stealing from poor kids, bro? Like, that's not that's not important, bro. The world is the world is going to end. This dude cheated on Neil Long. Well, also a black man cheated on a black woman, so we gotta like push that agenda that like all black men are shit. I mean, the only good thing is he cheated on her with another black woman, so I guess this <laughs> is black woman. All right, all right, let's let's get no, out. Actually, here. actually, he did cheat up on a white woman, too. but we'll get oh, into it. Chill, 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 chill. But that's not what this is about. This is about the statements that are being made against him and why. It's kind of like, why is it being blown out of proportion when literally there's a lot of other things that could be being covered besides this man? So. Fact that if you're not firing him, why do we know this stuff? Why is he going to be suspended, but you're leaking this stuff out? You either keep him or you let him go. But what you don't yeah. do is keep him and in the same breath disseminate information about a clear personal matter it might affect the organization to some degree i'm not oblivious to that but these are two consenting adults who i believe's behavior was not right and Ime Udoka is going to have to answer to that to more than the boston celtics by the way you don't have to answer to that nigga everybody know who the hell i'm talking about you don't have to answer that but the point is in the end, mm -hmm. if you're the Boston Celtics, if you're not firing him, there's no reason for this story to be out in the public like this. None. I got a problem with that. I mentioned that internal discussions have included scenarios that would keep him out for the entirety of the season. Does that change your opinion at all? No, no, no. He shouldn't be suspended for the entire year. He should either you fire him or you keep him. Mm -hmm. You don't say, what, 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 what is he? A child? It, it, it's consenting adult. Right. Like, what does his personal life have to do with, like, his work? Like, that's what I'm not exactly. Like, there's exactly. a lot of like, I mean, maybe it's different because we're in the military. Like, even if you got personal stuff going on in your life, they still expect you to show up to work regardless. I mean, that's different. Yeah. That's yeah, different yeah. But I mean, even with these like big organizations and corporations, it's like, bro, like you guys did that to yourself. You made this public news and they always try to be like, oh, well, we put it out there just so we could get ahead of the curve. And it's like, Low-key, nobody would have even known about this had you guys not put it out there. Because you think Neil Long is going to go out there and be like, hey, yo, my husband cheated on me? I find it very funny, though, that, you know, a similar situation happened with Michael Vick. Like, this dude was crucified on the media. Granted, he did do something wrong, right? Animal cruelty, what have you. But this dude got, like, destroyed his image, like, under the dirt. I mean, they but still picked him up after he got out of prison, but that was I mean, beyond. Yeah, it wasn't the I same. Mean, he did five years same. in prison, so that's right. also like, and he never could recover from that. He literally right. lost all his endorsement deals and everything like that. Like yeah. Nike dropped him, like all types of stuff. So like his livelihood was, and then they kind of just like, yo, let's throw Michael Vick a bone, and he played for like two years after that, and then he was done. Like, but the thing is, is that he literally covered Brett Favre stealing 70 million dollars damn near from 
or up to $70 million are involved in a $70 million scheme where he still stole from black um, poor people. Which I knew about this story before I even knew about the Brett Favre shit. And I exactly. seen that one meme that you sent, but like I thought that was something that was like not recent and low key. Oh. This Brett Favre shit is recent as fuck. This is recent and only like what two YouTubers that we know or two big YouTubers that we know are covering it. Yo, yo. So check out that other video, fun. it'll be in the description. But yeah, and also don't forget Tom Brady. Was it Tom Brady? Yeah, he had too. money in PPP and PPP loans and PPP loans. So, but he's America's quarterback. So, viewers, I release for those, for those people. Nah, bro, you can't put Tom Brady in jail. Wow, bro, wow. Yo, he's currently playing right now. Like, what? He's still in the Bucks. Like, they can't go to Super Bowl if Tom Brady's in jail. We're stressed out about PPP loans. It's for it's about poor people, bro. Like this. Poor people were coming to the games to fund Tom Brady to play. Like poor people want to see Tom Brady play. I guess poor. I guess being poor is the ultimate sin in America, huh? Yeah. How dare you be poor, bro? How dare you not get funding for schools? All right, let's stay on topic. You might find the, the behavior egregious and unfable. You fire him or you keep him. But the fact of the matter is, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and the rest of the crew deserve their coach unless he's not your coach. Right. But if he's going to be your coach, why should he be suspended for the year? Why? It's wrong. It shouldn't have happened. We understand all of that. You fire him or you keep him. Yeah. You don't suspend him like he's some petulant child. You keep him out of school and put him in detention or something. He made a decision as an adult with the woman who works in the organization who is also an adult. Right. They made, they they had a consensual relationship. Right. According to the reports. The bottom line is you make a decision to keep them or let them go. But the details leaking the details out. Mm -hmm. I don't appreciate that. And I'm gonna take it a step further. I don't appreciate that being done to a brother. Because I got news for you, America. There's plenty of white folks. In professional sports that's doing their thing and i say that not complimentary i don't see the information out about them why are we talking about this now we got to talk about it because it's the news Efficient. ain't none of our damn Efficient. business unless you fire him but if you keep him it's none of our business mm -hmm. It should have never been it should have never been put out there by the celtics organization and don't tell me you didn't do it because you actually Absolutely did it because news reporters this, got it. This, so it emanated out of Boston. Somebody ain't in LA or Utah or something leaking this stuff about the Boston Celtics. Right. Bro, this is on y'all. You shouldn't have been out here. I mean, I'll just say this, man. It sounds cliche. It may be, you know, burnt out. Or beating a dead horse, but as black men, we gotta take extra steps, look both ways, and make every decision to still get hit by intent. a bus. To still get hit by a bus. Yes, to still on get hit by a bus. Bro. But on something that like wasn't even related, bro. Like you, like you just can't get caught slipping because all it takes is one bad day, one mistake, one giving into temptation one time. And that's bro, it. And, that's the and the higher you are, and the higher you are, the bigger the fall, bro. But that's the thing is, like, people's, like, whole careers are being ruined over, like, personal issues. Like, that's nothing. Like, I work for this company, and I made this decision. What does this mean for the company? Like, people are just going to be like, all the Christians are going to be like, yo, we're not going to any Celtics game because you guys have a coach who's a cheater. I 110% agree with Stephen A. Smith because it's like, did he SA the woman? No. It was a consensual relationship. We're not condoning it. We're not saying it's right. Well, but that's, between that's between him and Nia Long. That's between him and Nia Long, yeah. It has nothing so to do I with the organization. Like, And the thing is, is like, how would this even be like news? Like, and they exactly. always try to take like preventative measures, it's like, oh my goodness, if somebody finds out about it, like nobody cares, bro. Okay. It it literally would have been like, hey, yo, y'all heard Neil Long's husband cheated on her with who? And then they would have showed a picture and then it would have been yeah. like, all right, cool. 
Like the thing is, like me just processing that right now made me not even think about the Celtics organization at all. Exactly. Like, but also, uh, I like to say I live on a higher plane of learning or living, whatever higher plane of knowledge, higher plane of whatever the whatever, bro. because. I don't believe in OnlyFans and all this other bullshit that's going on. I don't believe in poor people needing to suffer for the rich and, you know, everything that we cover in these topics that seem to be general knowledge and common sense that just isn't. So, and common sense is not so common, bro. And yo, as it, you it, become an adult, like, you really start to realize that, like, a lot of like i didn't realize it was going to be this bad but like i'd say like 75 percent of people don't have common sense yeah and a big thing and maybe this was just me being naive i thought that like you know most adults were decent people most people in general are decent people and it's not the not case especially now bro like every other person seems like some sort of degenerate bro bro somebody will literally stab you in the back at the first instance of like trying to get like fifty thousand dollars and be like yo i'm sorry i gotta feed my family like bro i'm literally dying with the family like, you know? it's, like it's like yo but this makes sense so like because my family like think about my family it's like bro like what about me what about my family you'll be okay like it's like no i won't bro you stabbed me in the stomach but <sighs> It's the world we live in, bro. Imagine if everybody just started doing better, just like, you know what? Like, I mean, you can't do anything about the women who are on OnlyFans because they only care about themselves. But uh, because it's like, oh my goodness, like, and the thing is, is like, imagine being a woman on OnlyFans not making money. So now you still have to go to school, bro. Like, you still got to get a better job. Like, but that's the thing is, like, everybody wants to take the easy way out. I mean, school is definitely not hard. It's time consuming. But either way, that's not what we're here for. We're here to see, pay tribute to Nia Long. She lived a good marriage for now, potentially over and back to hot girl summers and girls trips because black men ain't shit and all black men are going to suffer for this um Nia Long is the baddest even though he's like 50 something nah bro it ain't the Nia Long from like 25 years ago That's that's the image that everybody has in their head. It's like, yo, yeah, you along, yo, she's bad. And it's like, let's just not like I'm done here. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Peace.